Good evening and welcome. I'm Vincent McCory. This is Africa 54. The white suspect who allegedly perpetrated the massacre at a historic black church was charged on Friday with nine counts of murder, according to the Charleston, South Carolina police. 21-year-old Dylan Ruff is scheduled to appear in court in about 90 minutes for a bail hearing. U.S. authorities are investigating the killings as a possible hate crime. Many Americans, including President Barack Obama, are frustrated with the persistent racist and mass shootings across the country. Viewers as late as a hoax has more. Founded in the early 1800s, Emmanuel Church has dealt with discrimination and hate crime throughout its history. During the civil rights movement, worshippers could only meet in secret, and the building was once burned to the ground. Its survival is a monument to the resilience of African-American people, said a black church leader in Washington. Churches and African-Americans, you know, are a strong people and a resilient people. And we have survived a great deal and we'll continue to th uh, thrive and grow and band together. The question on many minds since Wednesday night's shooting has been why? Why would someone take a gun into a house of prayer and kill worshippers? One human rights advocate answered that question for VOA via Skype. Here we have a young man, a disaffected youth, who uh, you know is upset over the changing demographics in our country, maybe the prominence of you know black people such as the president of the United States, and decides he's going to lash out. And instead of being you know someone with no future, he's going to be you know a world historic figure who has you know struck a blow for the white race. In a speech Thursday, President Barack Obama expressed frustration about mass shootings, which he said are more frequent in the United States than any other advanced country. I've had to make statements like this too many times. Communities like this have had to endure tragedies like this too many times. The suspect in the church shooting has been known to display a liking for white supremacist groups and symbols. He had not done well at school and had no job or driver's license. Police arrested him in North Carolina and launched a hate crime investigation. African Americans throughout the country are shocked at the crime. That incident not only uh, affected uh, the families, but it affected all of us. Not only black folks, white folks, green folks, everyone. It involved all of us because had to ask ourselves the question, what did we contribute to this incident? And what have we not done that may have prevented? But Americans gathered together in the nation's capital and elsewhere in a show of unity against racial hatred. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.